touching his love handles, girl. <laughs> He's like Liam Neeson to me. Just don't look me in the eyes. I'm a regular guy. All right, you ready? I guess so. Rock and roll. Excuse me, is this the Jupiter Hills golf course? My limo driver's a little lost. Good morning and welcome to beautiful Jupiter Hills here in Florida. I'm gonna be shooting my first show in my new series called 18 with Cynic. And I'm gonna be joined by probably the biggest Hollywood movie star in the world right now. So I'm gonna be heading over and saying hello to Chris Pratt right now. I get a minimum of 25 takes. Hi, buddy. Chris, very nice to meet nice you. To meet how you are you? Sir, Nick. Yeah, like how are you? I'm very Great. well, thank you. How are you? So you've come down to Southern Florida. Yes, I have. Jupiter Hills, it's a bit gorgeous, isn't it? It's go it is gorgeous. It's and so tell me about your game. You're a king, mad king golfer. I know you've only played, what, five years? I, I became obsessed about five years ago. I might have okay. played a, a one or two rounds per year okay. for a couple years. And in my 20s, I had a stretch of about 12 to 15 oh, okay. months where so I really played dabbled, a lot, but, now got but I never broke 100. So now I feel like I'm relatively obsessed. Okay, that's good. I haven't broken 80, but I've got, I've, I've touched it a couple of times. Okay. Well, that's a... My index is about a nine. and um, Well, that's impressive after five years. You're kind of serious. Just call it the serious five years. Yeah, yeah. We're single We're... figure? Yeah, yeah. That's very good. So we're going we're gonna to hit a few here. Okay. I will critique. Oh, good. Oh, man. <laughs> so, All right, good. And then, uh, well, I'm, I'm here to help, to be honest. That's, yeah, great. And then we go and play a few holes and have a have a bit of fun. That sounds great. I'm looking and, forward and to see, it. So you get yourself... Get myself warmed up. Get yourself I off. I just have get, a 25-minute uh, routine I do. Where's the I do, room? I do 45. Are you 40? Is to, that true? Well, just to warm up, just to warm up the boys wow. in the morning. You Whoa, know. 45 minutes. But yeah, right. <laughs> to warm up your boys for the golf round? <laughs> <laughs> He's the voice of PGA Sunday for me, like hear, hearing him calling uh, events and then seeing him as this sort of like, you know, there's like attitude, like there's this like renegade Brit. That's the thing you think about golf, it's a gentleman's sport, but really just a bunch of alpha males out here competing against each other. And you get that sense from him that he's like, he's like Liam Neeson to me. And I always start the round by just pulling one far left, so I know what that feels like. See, right. then the okay. top one. Right. You, 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 got, <laughs> you got a pattern. <laughs> so you can practice this at home. When you stand and look in the mirror, I'm sure there's a few mirrors in Hollywood for you. <laughs> so My entire house is 100% mirrors. Yeah. yeah. Is there a bad looking mirror in your house? Not when I'm nah, there. Exactly. <laughs> so, so <laughs> There, you drop it like so, and you see, see, the, see this angle I'm creating? Yeah. See this and this. This is really important to look at that. And so I can turn, look, and I've maintained the angle, agree? Yeah. I pull down, I've maintained the yes. angle, agree? And then impact, I've still got the angle. Wow. So as soon as I do that, look, yep. look what happens to the club. So you've been aiming too much to the right. So I want you to put your left hand first, mm -hmm. and then your right hand, and feel Look, there's address and there's impact. There's address. Look at, see, nothing's changing. Yeah, I'm just yeah. getting out of the way. So if you if you put your right hand on, then I see how my shoulders go that yeah. way. Yeah. So if I put my left hand first, my shoulders are going that way. Yeah. So there's your countertop at home. Put your left hand on. Just take your dress. Put your right hand on it now. Great. There's a dress. Exactly. And you keep your high, high, exactly. How how different does that feel? It's incredible. So you can strengthen it, you can twist it, you can warm it up, you can do that as much as you like, but that's how what I want you to do. And, then and am I transferring the weight in there? Yeah, you twist your, exactly, you twist your weight into your, your, Into the left. You can even play with it. You can push your weight onto, onto this. But I'm touching his love handles, girls. <gasps> Jesus Christ. He's touching my love handles. I got your love girls. handles in there, girl, sheesh. <gasps> Settle down. Sir Nick. That would be a great feeling for you to help you get out of the way. All right, I'm in. Oof. I'm trying. I'm ready. It's a big change, you know. Yeah. Obviously, I've ground some pretty bad habits into my game. Yeah. Oh, sweet as a nut. There you go. Wow. 
That's incredible. I mean, how lucky am I that I'm getting a hands-on lesson from Sir Nick Faldo. This is the kind of stuff that every golf geek really dreams of, man. This is cool. <laughs> All right, let's go play golf. So my team was informed that you do not like being called Chris. <laughs> oh. You can call me Chris, of course. I can call you Chris? Of course, yeah. Oh, okay. Just, yeah. But just don't look me in the eyes. I'm a regular guy. <laughs> but uh, don't, that's, no, that's off limits. No, call me, yeah, Chris is my name, so okay. people. Okay, yeah. It's just weird that people rarely call me that. On set, it's always Pratt. In high school, it was always Pratt. Or... Pratt, but you know what Pratt means in Britain. Yes, yeah. it's appropriate. <laughs> I'm a complete Pratt. A right Pratt. I was going to call you right. Yeah, you're going to call right. Or what a Pratt. Tell people prat. from America what it means to be a Pratt. It means you're an idiot. <laughs> it is. Simple as that. It's yeah. like if your name was like Bobby Douche. It'd be like, <laughs> yeah, people call me Douche. Yeah, so people call me Pratt, but uh, Chris, is, Chris is totally fine. I love that. Okay. It's well, as you know, Her Majesty knighted me, <laughs> so I'm Sir Nick. Sir Nick, it is. Always will be. We don't have anything like yeah. that in the United yeah. States. It's amazing yeah. I'm meeting a knight. The only thing that we have that's relatively close is when I grew up, there was this steak restaurant by my house, and if you ate the whole thing in under 30 minutes, your family would eat for free. So we had a couple of those guys around town. That's probably about as close as we have. To royalty. To royalty. To like, whoa, can... they got the hat. They ate all 96 <laughs> ounces of beef. Your family ate for free. I've heard of that. Hero. Yeah, that's no. right. You're Right now you're in the middle of filming. Yes, up sir. Up in Atlanta. So this is normally, you normally jump on your plane back back home to, to your honey. Yeah, I usually get to fly home on the weekends, which is nice uh, to see my wife and my young children. I, your team reached out to us and said, hey, do you want to golf with Sir Nick? And I, and I was far enough in advance, I said, honey, this would be so cool if I could do this. And she said, you go do it, because she Only knows how, she knows right, how well meaningful done. it is That's to me great. to get to be able to do this. So well, I'm, I'm by, the mercy, by, her, by my merciful wife, I've been given a weekend to come and play some golf with you. I'm going to golf. Well, I hope that lasts for, the, for, for a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it when I'm out of the house. All right, think. we're ready. We're ready for this? You're, you've been... Uh... Am I first? Why not? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna forget everything you said to me. Visualize. Except for visualize and have a little fun. So right. watch this. Is Boom. It? Nice shot right there. Hangs. Seriously. It hangs for just a moment and then boop, yeah, in the middle of the fairway. Oh, it was close. Oh, that's all right. Down the right edge, I think. movies that grossed 10 billion over the last five years and so what's the pressure like to be in all those you know you're in a couple of different franchises mm -hmm. it's kind of wild to even imagine that that's the that that's true that i would have been number one on the call sheet for these films that are now have grossed you know yeah, billions, billions of dollars around the world it's really wild to, yeah. to put in to keep in your uh, a level head and to keep in perspective i will say though thankfully the projects i've been a part of I've really kind of been lucky to have been brought into these things that were pretty yeah. much destined for success. I mean, yeah. the Jurassic World franchise is going to go oh, on yeah. and people are going to see it, whether it's me in it or someone else. Yeah. And same with the Marvel world. Yeah. So in, in a way, I, I have to defer to this sh uh, evolving medium to say, like, I'm just lucky I got to be in them. Yeah. It was, and I don't think that it's like, well, you want it to be successful, put me in it. Yeah. You know, it doesn't feel like, for example, Stallone or, or Schwarzenegger or the different era of action movie stars yeah. Yeah. you went and saw it because it was them i don't i don't think that's been the case with my but definitely with you. and the best acting i ever do is is when i pretend to be humble like this when i'm yeah. talking to you and i think <laughs> i'm gonna get an oscar for this performance <laughs> oftentimes i'm really playing a version of myself yeah and, yeah. and there are some people who de do that and then there's the camp to say well that's not acting and i say well all right yeah. you stand on the x and do it then <laughs> <laughs> you know so it's just being comfortable being present yeah. i think that's a big yeah. part of it and as long as you do that, yeah, you can strive to be a better actor and you can strive to, to create distinctions between yourself and the character you're yes, playing. I think you could put yourself into a golfer's body. Who's your favorite golfer out there? Oh man, Sir Nick Faldo probably. No, 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 before, uh, wrong era. <laughs> if, if Scotty Scheffler was hitting this part, mm -hmm. 
He's trying to hold it, isn't he? Scotty Scheffler would have us see if this was acting, I could do it. And then in <laughs> in in post production, they'd make the ball go in the hole. Straight you it is. It. You gotta Straighten up the hill. Easy. Okay. A little long. Very good. All right. Wow, wait. I got a par. Look at you. That's cool. Yeah. You've got a great story when you sort of first yeah. attempt to in a, at Tigers event in at Riviera. Yeah, the Genesis Pro-Am, it was very, it must have been the first one that I played because I was really nervous. And so I was out on the range early driving the ball and it was just going everywhere. And also you see periodically me wearing these glasses yeah. and I'm I kind of blind. So I need, I was playing at the time with a bright ball, a bright yellow ball, because yeah. yeah. my idea is I'll be able to see it. So there, Mr. Pratt, your tee time's up. So I go up onto the 10th, uh, T yeah. and there's Tiger Woods. <laughs> he looks at me and he goes, "Yellow ball, huh?" Yeah. I was like, "Oh God!" <laughs> and my instinct as like a, an actor, a comedic person, is to self-deprecate. And my mm -hmm. line that came to my head was, "Well, it's going to be a lot easier to find it in the bushes yeah. after I hit yeah. it." So instead, I said, "Oh yeah, well, I don't have great eyes, so you know, if it, if it's a white ball, I can't see it past 300 yards." Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, "Oh." Yeah. All right then. Let's see it. And he and I was 18 handicap at the time. Oh jeez. And I line up and sure enough, it just happened to be one of the best, <laughs> yeah. most pure strikes of my life. I striped it right down the middle and just held the pose in front of everybody <laughs> and oh. And Tiger looks at me and goes, 18 handicap? So yeah, he goes, sandbagging mother <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, it's the best story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. Look at this. I saw a really great quote from you when your coach asked, you know, what are you going to do? And he said, I don't know, but I know I'm going to be famous and I know I'm going to make a load of money. <laughs> but for me, you said the word no. So I had a very profound moment in my life that altered the course of my life. And moments later, that just uh, in Hawaii, this actress, this director said, you know, you're cute. Do you act? And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> Put me in your movie. Really? Yeah. And she goes, that's okay. Well, give me your number and you can audition. And I auditioned and uh, I remember halfway through her saying, you're actually good. Okay. We're, we're going to use you. Okay. And I was like, whoa, sweet. So where does it shoot? I like this side of the island because I have to borrow a car to get over here or the other <laughs> side. She goes, it shoots in LA. And no, I thought, uh, oh, I'm like, okay, I, <laughs> I the guy with ticket. 60 bucks to my name, you think, yeah. I was like, oh, I can't, I, I can't go to LA. Yeah. Unfortunately, she said, sweetheart, we'll fly you there. Oh, my God. I was like, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> and that was the, that's, I never that went back. That was the start of my acting career. Blimey. Yeah, that's the difference. All right, forward. <laughs> All right. I saw the ladies swoon as you walked into the restaurant. But you're a good guy. You still want to keep your feet on the ground. Yeah, man. Yeah? I'm Important to you, yeah? Yeah, it certainly is, yeah. Head on the clouds, but feet on the ground. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, you know, I remember hearing great things about Tom Cruise, about how he was nice to everybody. Yeah, and I okay. thought, that's really cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah. I remember seeing these E! Hollywood stories about people who just lose their minds and they yeah. go crazy. There's a lot of light that gets shined onto people. Yeah. And uh, you have to have something that grounds you. As, yeah. You know, for me, it happens to be my faith. I think for other people, it's a sense of something, spirituality, yeah, yeah. some kind of grounded thing that keeps them, yeah. keeps them honest. So I met Paul McCartney and people were shouting at him, you know, Marco, and he always goes, well, man, well, I said, wow, you react to everybody. I said, he said, I'm a still a lad from Liverpool. I thought, wow, that is pretty darn cool. Isn't that, it? Is. that used a good lesson. We all think we're big and famous in our little puddle, right? but in the rest of the world, nobody gives a flying yeah, I, I can't tell you the number of people in my business who seem to have it all who are really miserable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. You gotta be happy with what you're doing, enjoy what you're doing, that's, that's it. it. There's always yeah. someone who's got it worse off than you. Oh yeah. It really, and it's, it, oh, coming from you must be tough, Mr. Hollywood. But it's like, I felt, you know, as a guy who lived in a van and who my yeah. parents would have a pot to piss in and, you know, we were always laughing. We were always yeah, had cool. something to be thankful for. I mean, it's hard for me to find anything to be thankful for today because I have to spend a whole <laughs> yeah. afternoon with him. Yeah, I mean, I would. But other than that, it's been pretty cool. <laughs> You were going to stay here yeah, no, <laughs> this has turned out to be a big mistake. I mean, I did see an iguana. That's the one plus. 
Uh, other than that, it's been a complete bust. You sure I wasn't a baby dinosaur? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not sure. It could be. We'll fix it in post. I say when you do the when you do your left thumb chip. Yeah. Get on with it. Don't stand over and think about it. You yeah, know, yeah. You stood over there and kept going, looking. So that's done. So then think, oh, I'm going to go do that, do that, to that, and that's it. Yeah. Walk up and go pop. Copy. So I, I heard you you Google uh, acting tips, but did you Google <laughs> golfing tips for, for today? Oh, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I, I have Googled about every golfing tip yeah. you could think of, and I get stuck in golf tip world. Well, you put a lot Google. of preparation into today. You, you flew in early, you practiced, did you went to the gym, you did... Yeah, I did. I had my guru here. Okay. I had my oil man. Okay. My quads are real greased right now. It's good. That's why you're seeing a lot of that action when it nice. fires. And you hear that? You're... That's the oil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go back to acting. I'm always on the I'm always on the hunt to it's like golf. Yeah, you're always yeah. on the hunt to learn various things and yeah. try different things. I have had a my director James Gunn said, You're always trying to come in with a new thing. You have a new That's idea, good. a new thing. You got him, yeah. It is, but his that thing is like just go back to just doing just be natural, do nothing. Do nothing. Be present. Impossible. It sounds impossible, but it's and it's very hard to do. You're not ever doing nothing, is the thing. Yeah, exactly. Just don't add on top. Okay. Because if you're being present, you're being open, you're being yourself, yeah. and you're doing this, that's one thing, you're having an honest interaction. But then if you're like, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to have a hook for a hand and I'm going to stand like this, <laughs> now all of a sudden you're acting, you know? So <laughs> I, I heard stories about people that I aspired to be. One story I heard was about Bill Murray. Oh, yeah. And he walked up to a guy in a bathroom and he put him in a sleeper hold. And he whispered in his ear, no one's going to believe you. And then walked out. <laughs> That's a good one. I love That's that. a bit of comedy. Yeah, yeah I love that. And of, I yeah. did that once in New York. Jumped on the hood of somebody's car. And then they go, they go, Chris Pratt? And I just went, <coughs> and I like slammed my face you down as if they hit me. Case, and I looked up and gone. I go, nobody's going to believe you. <laughs> well, I might have to remember that one. This guy named Ben Reed, he, he was in the first movie I ever did. He said, don't ever take an acting lesson. Oh, really? He said, don't ever take an acting lesson. What you're doing is right and it's natural. It's based on instinct. Okay. And he said, be Robert, look at Robert Redford. Okay. He, they call him the natural. He could just be Robert Redford and it was yeah. cool. Yeah. You know, so like you look at some of the actors like him or Paul Newman or these guys who oh, yeah. really would just breathe their own spirit into these characters. Yeah. And I always really, I always really liked that. Uh, and, yeah. you know, with a comedic edge of like kind of doing some things that are a little, a little more Bill Murray. I bet Sean didn't have an acting lesson once before. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good I shot. You, yes. Let me smell your breath, Miss Money Penny. <laughs> You've been drinking. <laughs> right, go. <laughs> Acting, producing, writing, script. Tell us how you deal with all of that. You've got a lot going on in your plate. Well, I've got an extraordinary wife who's cool. really helpful in my life with uh, helping me to maintain boundaries with schedule to make sure I'm dedicating enough time to being at home with my family, with my kids and my wife. And then um, they, there's this adage in the business, you do one for them and you do one for you. The one that they do is the is this big commercial studio movie and the one they do for them is one that if they would be willing to do it if it broke even they'd be yeah, happy yeah yeah and so i that but that takes up your entire life yeah that's six months doing one movie six months doing yeah, the yeah, other yeah and so for me the one that i do for me right now is is blocking out a, a chunk of the year to be home family time family yeah. time so i yeah. do these big i've been blessed to be able to do these big great commercial yeah, big yeah, movies and yeah. it buys me six months a year to be home and be dad yeah. and i read i'm dyslexic so i if i read i try my best i read a page in a book right and i get to the bottom and i go what what have i just read and i can't remember it i'm very very similar yeah it seems amazing when you're an actor and you've got scripts yeah it takes me a long time to sit down and read something my mind wanders however if i hear it i retain 90 percent of it do you have a prompting lady to give you a line and then you repeat the line there's this visual cue for people like me that really seems to help which is i write down the first letter of every word that i'm going to memorize try it. i've got to try this yeah so if it's i've got to try this it would be i g t t t 
IGTTT. So you look at that and you go, I got to try this. And then you say that a few times while looking at the letters. I got to try this. I got to try this. And all of a sudden, the concept of what you're, of what you're saying becomes less that you have to put on your limited really? tabletop yeah. in your okay. mind. You know, like you've got a limited space to work with. So make them concise ideas you have to memorize yeah. rather than okay. long lines. And, you okay. know, the word uh, gargantuan, it's a big word to memorize, but it's not... The letter G is not a big thing to memorize. No, it's, 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 so you look at G, you know what it means, gargantuan. Yeah. I'll just look through the thing, and I'll read in my mind my lines, and then I'll read his lines really fast. My lines, his lines, my line, his lines. And if I can't get my lines out before his cue comes oh, on, wow. then I have to back it up. I've got to try this gargantuan. I've got to try this gargantuan. Great. That's really good, Nick. That's going to work as well as, as, you know, me <laughs> being a professional golfer probably. Which is to say, really good. Let's go. You gotta pick the right role. You get scripts coming through the door and all sorts of yeah. things. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you, it is definitely a, a different uh, scenario now than it was before. Before, I, I was at the mercy of other people's decisions. Yeah, I'd go out for everything. I don't yeah. care. Frisky's yeah. commercial, cat food. I'm your man. Put whiskers <laughs> on me, man. Just I don't want to have to be waiting tables anymore. Exactly. You know? And then it, and then something happens. And I was very blessed to cross this threshold into a territory where now other people, they're being able to make their project is hinged on whether or not I want to do it. Yeah, which okay. is wild, a wild yeah. concept to yeah. to uh, to grasp for, for you know, twenty year old Chris. I have a manager that's really okay. careful, really mindful. Uh, she's got great taste. Okay. I can't tell you how many times I read something. I'm like, this is great. She's like, no, it's not. It sucks. I'm like, okay, As I, said. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay. she's got impeccable taste. At the end of the day, I'm the one who makes the decision, but I'm really guided by her taste. She's been in the business forever. And, and it's got to check all of the boxes that it has to for me, which I have mm. a limited dance card now that I have three kids and a family. So yeah. if it happens to be the right one, I'll do it. So when you're doing all the dinosaur stuff yeah and i was and i guess the dinosaur's not there yeah you'd be <laughs> yes i don't spoiler yeah they're not they're not real you got to do an awful lot of <laughs> pretending that cloud is a t-rex coming yes. at you and you've got to do all those 25 different reactions yeah right? right yeah i couldn't do that I don't think. <laughs> well it's embarrassing yeah <laughs> acting's already embarrassing but doing it against something that's not really there that must be it's embarrassing. Yeah. Because the people on the crew know it's ridiculous. Yeah. But it doesn't matter what they see. What matters is what the camera sees yeah. that you give to the editor. And then they put in the dinosaur yeah. and the sound and the score. And it's, it becomes amazing. Yeah. When you got a T-Rex right in front of you mm -hmm. and you're going to run, mm -hmm. I'd run a lot faster than you, you're running. Really? Yeah, you and, the, you and the gang went. You went like this. You went round behind the car. <laughs> and we, we're now safe. Yeah. This thing could... Here's the thing. You, you, run, you sprint. You yeah. run out of gas. You only have to be faster than the slowest than the kid. Than the last person, exactly. Yeah, it's usually yeah. a kid. You're a little yeah. faster than them, then you're fine. <laughs> you know, you trip him. You give him a little kick to the knee. Give him doof, good luck. Leave him. <laughs> He's just bite-sized snack. That's right. This is my beautiful time, and I said go. Here we go. Wow. My way of giving back, giving forwards is through obviously golf. I've had my founder series 27 years now. Wow. In fact, we have we have kids events all over the world. You know, probably we probably had over a hundred thousand competitors now. You know, over the 27 years. That's incredible. All four corners of the world. Yeah. But you know, I saw you know you've, you've been very generous. You know, I've, yeah, I definitely. Uh have been really blessed in my life and feel the same way. I feel like it's an opportunity to use my platform to sort of talk about my faith and yeah. then also to be able to give back. Yeah, we've uh, my wife and I are ambassadors of the Special Olympics, which is, of okay, course, a big cool. part of yeah. our lives. Her grandmother founded the Special Olympics, and oh, really? so it's very dear to our oh, hearts really? to, to uh, give back in that capacity. And yeah, I mean, you know, I, I have a friend from high school, Ryan, who's worked in Special Olympics for years. And uh, he told me once, he was like, this is going to sound trite. I truly believe that I get more out of this experience than my than my yeah. athletes do because he coaches yeah. basketball. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I thought that's really cool. And then in the process of doing it, I said, "Wow, I don't think yeah. it's tough. I think it's tough to have a bad day serving yeah. other people." Yeah. Back in the day, <laughs> which was seventies and eighties, it was all about the headlines the next day in the newspaper. But of right. course, 
here we are, hey, 40 years later, with the, the dreaded social media. Sure. How the whole world knows something in one second. It's unbelievable. I know right. you've had a tough time at times. Yeah. I think it might be, it might have been said by Mark Twain, but maybe he didn't come up with it, I can't remember. A lie will circle the world four times before the truth gets up and puts its oh. pants on in the morning. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, and it's with social media, definitely, it feels that way, you know. What do people click on? This salacious yeah. thing. Yeah. The thing that is gossipy and it kind yeah. of appeals to this thing inside all of us, broken humans, that we want to tear each other down. There's this I impulse know. in us to yeah. sort of to find that as, as entertainment, unfortunately. And so I think if you can remember that, it can help you to shift per your your yeah. perspective back towards one of being grateful if you read something and you're like, well, that's completely fabricated. That's not anything that's real. That's a hurtful thing to read about myself or my family. Yeah. yeah. And the reason that's getting so much, uh, so many eyeballs right now or so many clicks is because it's entertaining to people yeah. to read it. So if you, if you can put that together, it takes a little of the sting out of it. Like, uh, it's just, it's all entertainment. One of the weird side effects of having this public life, yeah. this life you dreamed of, yeah. is that periodically the world is going to entertain themselves by yeah. considering untrue things about you. W would you take it back? Yeah. Would I give it back? Yeah. What I, I'm like, no. Try and take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Of course I wouldn't. So yeah. I think shifting perspective. There must is, be times when it really irks you. And you yeah, think, well, you know. You, you take the attitude that, you know, I always, I always say, if I can do something about it, I will. If I mm -hmm. can't, you have to forget it. Yeah, there, yeah. There's one thing that's a, it's actually a Bible verse. It's Proverbs 26:20. It says, "For lack of wood, the fire will go out, and okay. where there is no whisperer, quarreling ceases." And that is to say. Someone might write something about me. Yeah. I don't think it's true. It might get a million eyeballs. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little fire. And I'm like, I want to put that fire out with some truth. But what I end up doing is, is know, turning 50 million eyeballs uh, exactly. towards this false yeah, story, yeah. and then it becomes a wildfire. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> and so you, you tend to want to just let it go. You know, if you wait 36 hours. Oh yeah, it's usually gone. It will be gone. Yeah. If you wait 36 hours and it's not gone, wait another 36 hours. <laughs> Okay. You can literally do that 36 times. It'll only be six weeks. Yeah. And then if it's still hanging out, you got to do something about it. You got to say something. Yeah, yeah. You know, especially yeah. if it's dam it's a lie that's damaging you. Yeah, it's like, yeah. you know, having an effect on you. Then you say, yeah. hey, I got to address it. Some people will see this as me being defensive. Yeah. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Tomorrow is a new day. So, um, considering I've been in your ear, yes, for three, uh, probably four hours now, man, I think you're doing all right. I mean, your score, considering what we're doing with all, you're playing nicely. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. that feels like a good round. I was yeah. like, hit a couple greens in regulation, and honestly, a lot of times if you get a little bit of a lesson before the round, it's, it yeah, seems yeah, to be a recipe a for disaster. But I think that's because most of the people giving you lessons are idiots. You get a lesson from <laughs> Sir Nick Baldo, it I'm actually less of, less of an idiot, yeah, slightly less of an idiot, <laughs> yeah. and uh, boy. I got my big takeaways are I now have something to do when I'm not golfing oh, exactly. to benefit my golf game. Absolutely. Because oftentimes I'm doing this weird thing which is actually filling my mind. I'm in the shower or whatever and it's just dulling my blade. What I need to do is be able to go like this. Oh yeah. We balance do. on my right foot. Oh yeah. Thumbs in the right place. Same thing. Balance here. It turns there. There you go. You and then uh, this thing right here, what hand on the counter or hand on the countertop. This thing. Yeah. Left first. Impact position. There you go. Ooh, look at Those this. Those three things. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig All right, dig it, dig it, you ready for some lunch? Yeah, <laughs> I can eat, I can eat, let's do All it. All right, so let's do our acting bit. Let's exit stage left. Exit stage left. Yeah, well, you'll, you'll it's been go. great with Sir right. Nick. Is this called 18 with Sir Nick? 18 with Sir Nick, yeah. Thank, and have, and how many people have you had before me? Not a lot. Not you're a num lot. You're number two. We're number two. All right, yes, thank you. Right. Thanks for having me, Sir Nick. It's been thank a real pleasure. Right, okay. And now we exit stage exit. left. Going for lunch. All right, All right. see ya. Cheers. Alright, yep. Yeah. Oh, hold on a sec, that's... If ever there was a sport that exemplified evolution and change, it's the game of golf. 
a sport that was first played in Scotland in the 15th century in 1457. The making of Scotch whisky has trodden a similar path. Since the first written record of the drink, maybe a few decades later, in 1494. As part of my partnership with Duncan Taylor Scotch Whiskies Limited, I've had the pleasure of visiting their warehouses in the Highlands of Scotland, and in conjunction with their chairman, Ewan Shand, and his son Andrew, have handpicked the whiskies that carry my name as part of the Black Bull range. Throughout the years, Duncan Taylor Scotch Whiskey have worked on the belief that it should be whiskey without compromise, which means they've been able to create whiskies that stand out from the crowd, and nowhere is that truer than through the company's use of octave casks. Around 70 liters in size, these casks are unique to Duncan Taylor and add an intense aroma and taste to the whiskey. One of the best examples of the effect of these octave casks have on the whiskey is the outstanding Macallan 31-year-old distilled at Macallan, but matured in the warehouse of Duncan Taylor in one of those bespoke octave casks. These bottles are offered under the premium octave label and named on the label as Sir Nick's Pick. There are less than 75 bottles available and they can be purchased exclusively online by going to thespiritsembassy.com. Hi there, Sir Nick here, and I've been very fortunate to be tasting three wonderful Macallans around 30 years old. This is 32, 31, 32. So I've done a bit of a tasting, but first let me show you what, how you do it. You will get yourself one of these credit cards with your name on it on so, and the idea is these will be placed in restaurants, hotels, golf clubs, all over the world. And this is their dispenser now that Duncan Taylor have invented. Put your credit card in and boom, there you go. There is your measure. And so enjoy. So I tasted these earlier and number one was my favorite, a 32 year old Macallan. And then a cast number, this is important, but cast number is 26505. Okay, so if you would like to purchase that, stay tuned for more information, but look for 26505 and sit back and enjoy. <laughs> 